What's up guys today's video is on the top 5 best toaster ovens. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information, on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices, like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. Starting at number 5, we have the KitchenAid KCO211BM Digital Countertop Toaster Oven. This KitchenAid is our number one best toaster oven pick due to its value. It's one of the least expensive on our list, yet provides a fantastic experience. We were incredibly impressed by the clear instructions, user-friendly operation, large capacity, and consistent results. There's an LCD display for setting your preset function, but you can change the temperature and time based on your own preferences as well. The toaster oven comes with a removable crumb tray, broiling rack, and enameled pan. With a capacity of 0.74 cubic feet, it can fit up to six slices of bread at a time. We found that when toasting a single piece of bread, you should adjust the dial down one level to get the doneness you actually want. With multiple pieces, do the opposite and adjust up one level. The instruction manual is especially thorough, with a section that includes food cooking tips and information on how to choose bakeware for the toaster oven. To clean, wipe the interior and exterior with a damp cloth. The accessories are all dishwasher safe, but hand washing is recommended. The cheese we melted with the broil function was perfect, as were the cookies we baked, but we detected cold spots on the sides and near the back, which resulted in slightly blonder toast. This is something to keep in mind when deciding how many food items to put in the oven at once. Moving on at number 4, we have the Black & Decker 4-Slice Toaster Oven. If you're looking for a no-frills kitchen workhorse, this is the best toaster oven for you. While it doesn't come with fancy features you'd find in pricier models, such as an air fryer or the ability to roast or reheat, for the price we found its performance to be surprisingly high quality. The Breville oven comes with four standard functions, bake, broil, toast, and warm. During testing we found the bread was evenly browned, the cookies were ready on time according to baking directions, and the cheese was perfectly melted. True to its name, we were able to toast four slices of bread, or bake four cookies, at a time. Due to its size, it's likely to be most functional for a smaller household with one or two people. The size is a challenge for the exterior as well, as the dials are small and the numbers may be hard to read. The oven's capacity is actually lower than the Breville Compact Smart Oven, our pick for best small, 0.46 versus 0.6 cubic feet. The timers can be set for 10, 20, and 30 minutes, which might be frustratingly limiting if you prefer more flexibility, though the simplicity could be a plus for some. The rack, crumb tray, and combination drip tray and baking pan can be easily removed for cleaning, plus the rack is dishwasher safe. On the back of the oven there's a 1-inch plastic peg to keep it away from the wall, which we found very helpful. Also note that the top gets very hot while in use. At number 3, we have the Instant Omni Plus 19QT, 18L Toaster Oven Air Fryer. One of the most game-changing developments in toaster oven design has been the integration of air fryers, and this one is a perfect example of how well it can work. The fries we made in the air fryer basket came out flawlessly crisp. The other functions include roast, dehydrate, reheat, warm, convection, and rotisserie, which wasn't available on any other toaster oven we tested. We think the rotisserie feature adds a lot of value, helping to make this one of the best toaster ovens we tried. The included rotisserie spit, setting screws, forks, and cooking pan are also standout additions. We love the clear touchscreen display and how simple it is to use the dials and controls to create your ideal settings. A hot spot in the front middle of the oven was detected while toasting, the bread toasted evenly overall, but the middle slices were a little dark on the edges. We noticed the same thing using the bake function with the cookies, which also came out a little dark. Using an oven thermometer, we found a 10 degree fluctuation when we set the toaster at the maximum temperature. While all accessories are dishwasher safe, they do need to be disassembled when possible before cleaning. 
The manufacturer recommends using a bristle brush to clean the air fryer basket after use in soap and water for the oven rack. When it comes to the cooking pan, the brand suggests parchment paper lining or non-stick cooking spray to make cleanup as easy as possible. At number 2, we have the Cuisinart Digital Air Fryer Toaster Oven. If you're not much of a cook, this user-friendly option will quickly build your confidence in the kitchen. The instruction booklet includes tons of recipes and a reference guide with the proper cook times for common ingredients. There's also a backlit screen controlled by a dial knob that allows you to select your cooking function. Though there is a countdown timer once you select the function, there's no timer dial. Accessories include a baking and roasting pan, an air fryer basket, it also works for broiling and dehydrating, and a pull-out crumb tray. We didn't detect any hot or cold spots during testing, though when we toasted multiple pieces of bread, the ones on the outer edges were slightly less browned. This toaster oven was almost too effective at baking cookies, burning them on the outside after 5 minutes at the recommended temperature of 350 degrees Fahrenheit. While it might be due to using pre-cut dough, it's worth pointing out that, when we took the machine's temperature, our thermometer showed 480 degrees Fahrenheit though it had been set at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. The oven rack and crumb tray need to be cleaned by hand, while the pan and basket are dishwasher safe. The instructions also specifically advise you to wipe down the top after cooking greasy foods. And finally at number 1, we have the Calphalon Air Fryer Oven. When you're short on time, this is one of the best toaster ovens. In particular, the turbo convection setting can be a game changer because it improves circulation in the oven to create more even cooking results more quickly. Even without the turbo convention button engaged, the toast and cookies we prepared came out very evenly. You may need to keep an eye on your food when toasting, as there was still a minute left on the timer when we pulled out the bread and deemed it ready. The same goes for broiling, which is where the turbo convection button comes in most handy to help circulate the heat. This model lost some points in the air frying department. When used according to directions, some of the fries came out soggy while the others were too crispy. Though they were warmed all the way through, we didn't get the telltale golden brown color of a good fry. It's also worth pointing out that the air fryer setting is a bit noisy. On the outside, there's a digital LCD timer that can be preset or manually set with the turn of a dial. The inside has a light, which is a rarity, and it helps you see how your food is coming along. A helpful detail considering we found some of the food was ready before the timer went off. All the pieces are removable and should be hand washed with soap and water. Thanks for watching and that's all for now. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time.